Welcome back to FM Story. Somehow we managed to survive February and March without getting fired. Can we make it to the end of the season? Can we even make it past the end of the season? Let's find out. Before we do get started, if you do enjoy the video, please like, comment and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get going. Somehow we've made it almost to the end of April and we are still um, hired. In fact, what we've actually managed to do is get ourselves back into position to launch a, a shot at the uh, European places. We're currently two points outside the Europe, Europe Conference League place with a game in hand on Malaga. And we're seven points behind Sociedad in the Europa League group stage um, position. And we've got two games in hand on them. Um, what we did is we continued the, the formation that we'd played at the end of March, which didn't really seem to do an awful lot in terms of turning us around. However, we are currently unbeaten in April. Um, we played Zaragoza and went behind early on to them, but then uh, equalised with a, a thumping shot from the edge of the box by Javi Lopez, um, got a lucky own goal and then picked up another one near the end just to secure a 3-1 victory over Zaragoza. Um, sporting, we went away to. Nico Williams picked up a hat-trick. Um, once they pulled it back to 2-1, it was a bit dicey, but they didn't really go ahead and create too many more chances and we were able to nick another one just to, to secure it before the end. Granada was an eventful first 10 minutes and then not an awful lot happened after that. Uh, we were 2-0 up after six minutes. They'd equalised by the 10th minute and Antoine Griezmann missed a penalty in the first half as well. Second half was really dull in that game. And then Espanyol, we went up, went ahead early on. They had a player sent off early on for two yellow cards um, and then they didn't really threaten. Um, they had a couple of chances, but not many. We should have scored more goals. We missed another penalty um, from Nico Williams, but from the rebound, Unai Ribeiro was able to put, put it away and sort of secure the 2-0 victory. Um, in terms of games we've got left coming up, we've got game against Kelta in the, uh, coming up next, who are sitting 18th, well, 19th now. Uh, we've got Valencia, who are sitting in 14th. Sevilla, who are sitting in 12th. So all of them are having disappointing seasons. Hopefully we can capitalise on that. Atletico are currently sitting second, so that's, that one's going to be a tough one. Malaga could be a big one in terms of if we can keep on this run of form and, and be trying to force our way into the, the European spots. And then we finish with Rayo Vallecano, who are just below us in the table and who have hammered us 4-1 and 3-1 so far this uh, season. Um, but both those games were away, so hopefully we can end on a, on a high with the, the home crowd. But this game against Kelt is going to be important in the next game. We do have a few players missing. Um, we don't really have a right back. Munayin is probably not going to be able to fit, start. Santos is probably not going to be able to start. And uh, Serrano is definitely out as well. But we'll see what we can do. And if we can play like we've played in the last few games, then it, a home game against a team that are 19th the table, hopefully we can take advantage of that and pick up a result. We had a bit of an issue with the recording of the Calder game. Um, basically, going into the game, we made two changes because Ander Cap was out injured, Nico Serrano was out injured. So, Huate came in at right back and Aki Williams came in on the left side of midfield. Overall, I think we pretty much deserved to win, but we made it hard on ourselves. Um, we missed quite a few chances early on. We started with a good goal, although their keeper could have done a lot better with that free kick. Um, they then went up the other end and we basically gave them a goal, stood on the ball and let them cut inside and score. Um, then, just before half time, Hugo Gillamon raced through, keeper made the save for the first time and he nicked it home at a tight angle for the second one. And then in the second half, Inaki Williams forced his way through and just dinked it past the keeper to put us 3 1 up. And then in injury time, we just didn't deal with a, a ball into the box. Header. Close range, made it 3-2, but we were able to hold on in injury time. That put us above Malaga, but they were playing later on in the night. Um, so it put us into seventh in that Europa Conference League place. 
Big problem we're going to have for the next game against Valencia is Andercap is out for, I think, was out for three weeks, so he's still going to have another two weeks out. Huarte was one yellow card away from a ban, which inevitably he picked up. So quite what we're going to do in terms of who's going to play right back is a, a big question mark going into that game. So we've managed to make it to the final day of the season without being sacked. Unfortunately, the chances of qualifying for Europe have now gone. Um, we'll have a look at the results that caused that in a second. We are basically going to finish either 8th or ninth, which after four seasons of finishing third, is a bit of a kick in the teeth. Um, and this last game against Rio Vallecano could very well be our last game in charge of Athletic Club. Um, but since the... But since the game against Calter, basically we've drawn three and lost one. Um, we've scored lots of goals. We've conceded a lot as well. Um, Valencia, we were 3 2 up going into the last couple of minutes and they nicked an equaliser. Sevilla, we went ahead early and then they ended up 2 uh, 1 up. We started chasing the game to try and get back into it. They went. 3-1 up. Um, there was a horrific... The third goal, basically Simon controlled the back pass and just passed it straight to Oscar for him to score. We did go up and get another one, but we couldn't force one in injury time. Um, Atletico Madrid it was a wild game. Um, we took the lead just before half-time. They equalised before half-time. They then went 3-1 up just after the hour. We pulled a goal back, got another one back with about 15 minutes left to level it at 3-3. They scored a header from a corner just as we were going into, into 90 minutes. And then Javi Lopez somehow up from left back for a corner, headed in off the underside of the bar to get us a 4-4 draw. And then yet another 4-4 draw against Malaga. Um, we were 2 0 up. They pulled it back to 2 2 before half time. We went 3 2 up with five minutes left. They went 4 3 up. And then Griezmann picked up a late winner that was very close to being ruled, a late equaliser, sorry, that was very close to being ruled offside. But we just couldn't create anything in the last couple of minutes from there. So now we've got one game left against uh, Ryan Vallecano. We're currently sat eighth in the league. Um, and we can't qualify for the the European Conference League, which was the, the seventh position there. Um, and basically, we could finish below Sevilla. I mean, we've played Rio Vallecano twice this season and got beat 4-1, 4 and 3-1. Um, so hopefully, I mean, it's a home game, so if we go out, put on a performance in front of the fans to end the season... In, and as we said, it might be our last game in charge of of Athletic Club. So going to this final game, we're making one change uh, to the starting lineup. Munayin picked up a bit of a knock in the last game, so Griezmann's going to come in on that right hand side. Um, and like I say, hopefully we can get off to a a decent performance at home. Last game of the season, send the fans home happy. Not much happening early on. Can't truly be offside. No, didn't think so. But I mean, that's the eighth goal they've scored against us this season. I think in some ways it would be quite a blessing if we do get fired because there's some serious work needs to be done on this squad in the summer. There we go, 2 0. I mean, this is what on earth.
hang just sack me now I mean I'm not sure why we needed the offside lines though but you know And yet, the XG is the same. That's, that's the, been the thing this season. We've had so many chances and not taking them. So we've had so many one-on-ones. Oh! This just sums up our season. We've had 28 shots. An XG of 2.96 and we haven't scored. And that's with basically playing five up front. I think this team might have broken me. We've had 34 shots and we've got an extra year 4.02 and we're getting beat 5 0. I mean, look at that XG. Rather amazingly, we haven't been sacked as soon as the season's finished. So let's go through the end of season review. In terms of the new arrivals, the only player we signed was Anton Griezmann, who ended up with 22 goals and 14 assists in all competitions. I'm actually genuinely surprised at that because there's been times where it's just looked like he just wasn't even out on the pitch. We sold Audrey Zola. Because he wasn't wasn't playing well, couldn't force his way into the team, he wanted out. And then it seems he's done quite well since he signed for Kansas, right? So we were expected to qualify for the Europa League. And didn't even qualify for the Europa Conference League, finished eighth. Nico Williams had a decent ski season, finishing his top scorer of twenty. I think we had a good August, a good December, and a good April, and then the rest of the season, 
basically just it was enough. Champions League, we made it to the round of 16. We somehow, um, I mean, it did look like at one stage we weren't even going to get out of the league phase. We somehow got out of that and then somehow managed to get through on penalties against AC Milan. And then Napoli were too strong in that round of 16. Coppa del Rey, really disappointing. I mean, we didn't play well against Deportivo. We played okay against Betis and we got hammered for the first of three occasions this season by Rai Vaicano and Supercoppa. I mean, the less said about that, the better. I'm not quite sure how the match to remember is Athletic Costa is going to, like in terms of best matches, the, one of the 4 fours was probably a more I mean, remembrance. But So we did start the season with the 4-2-3-1. Then we moved to a 4-3-3 and then we put a 4-1-5 at the end of the season so it's not really kind of it's a bit hard to pick a composite kind of team I mean despite the fact that Griezmann got 22 goals and 14 assists he doesn't even get into the best 11 which kind of sort of suggests that what we thought about him being in and out performance wise is the case and the problem is we've got too many... I mean, Griezmann we knew was going to be a signing that wasn't for the future. But like Amin Ayin's 34, and Aki Williams is 32. It's, it's, there's a lot of key players that are ageing. And Igor Martinez is retired. So we're struggling at centre-half. And that's the end of this episode. We've got to the end of Season 5. And... We're going to have to have a serious think about whether it continues any further than this because that season sucked the life out of me. Um, nothing seemed to work. So back to the drawing board and, and there may be another season. There may not be. But we'll, we'll find out. if Even if there isn't another season, there will be a kind of a video to see how Bill Athletic Club do in the future see how some of these young players that have come through develop um, or the next video might be the start of season six but we'll we'll have to see how, what what happens. <laughs> <laughs>